Hey guys, I'm Arthur Geek. In this video, I have a hands-on look and personal review or experience of the Gatekeeper wireless lock and key for your computer. What this device is meant to do is, of course, to lock your computer when you walk away from it. Um, the reason I have the phone here is because it also works with your phone, not locking it, but um, since, like, see here, this is a device that you can actually put in a keychain. Um, it helps you find it. So it helps you find your keys or something like that using the application for Gatekeeper for your Android or iOS device. This was sent to me so I can try it out and make a video for you guys if I liked it. Uh, so I'm going to share with you guys my opinion here. Um, here in the box, you're going to get the instruction manuals. Of course, I already used this product. I put it in the box. That way you guys can see what to expect when you get it through the mail. This is the little small device. Like you see, you could put it in a keychain or... I'll show you right now where you can also put it. Let's go put this all to the side. You can put it here as well. This goes around your neck. And you can just go ahead and put it right there. And voila, that's it. Really cool. It's nice that they actually send you one of these as well. And of course, you got this. This is the receiver that goes to your computer. Uh, you have to use this connected to one of the USB ports in your computer. That way it can actually uh, recognize this device. And of course, this right here is the battery that goes in here. Let me just go ahead and see if I can take it out. There you go. This right here, that's the battery right there. Uh, so of course it comes with the battery. Uh, the application is very, very simple to use. Once you download the app, just go ahead and click right there. Like you see there, it scans for the keychain. And like you see there, it already recognize it. So I'm gonna add it and I'm gonna name it. See that right now it's ringing. I don't think you can hear it again, but it rang right there. I'm gonna put gate keeper. I'm gatekeeper. You could name it whatever you want. Let's say you have like two of them. You can name it whatever you want. And now you can also click right here and it'll also send you notifications. Uh, when you're, for example, if you're walking away from your key or this device, it will actually send you a notification that, you know, hey, you're getting walking away from your phone. So if I click right here, let's see, it says there was an error of communicating with your device. There you go. So there you go. So the thing is, this comes become beneficial when you actually lose your keys, and I'll show you now. Okay, so here, let's go ahead and click locate. I hid my device. So there you go. It tells me right here if I'm getting close to the device. I can hear it. And there it is. Like, see that the bar gets bigger because the device is closer. That's what it's meant to do. There you go. We found our keychain. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how this works with the PC or Mac. They work practically the same. Uh, keep in mind, I'm doing it on the Mac because I don't have a PC and the only PC I have is an old PC that doesn't even have a Bluetooth. So yeah, that's how old it is. So right here, I'm gonna leave a link in my description for this website, the Gatekeeper website. And this is the store. You can also buy the device from here as well. And right now it's on special for $44.99. You can also buy two packs as well. But where you wanna go is right here. It says software download. And right here is gonna take you right away to the download section. You could download for Windows and for Mac, 32-bit, 64-bit. Uh, keep in mind, it's compatible from Windows 7 to the latest Windows update, which is Windows 10, right? And uh, over here, of course, Mac, Mac OS. And that's it. Once you download it, of course, you hit the download. If you want to download the Mac or if you want to download the window, just hit the download button. And that's it. Once it's downloaded and installed, it's going to be right here, right in your in your application section. For example, here on the Mac is going to be right there. I'm going to go and close this right here. Uh, here is going to be right there. So when you click it, it's going to open it up if you haven't set it up. So right here, once you set it up, it's going to appear right here on top. Um, here, this is how it's going to open up. But first, we have to plug this to the computer. So we're going to go ahead and plug it. I'm going to plug it over here. Let's go ahead and put it right there. You see right there? I put it on that side of the computer. Uh, right now, I haven't recognized it yet. It should recognize it pretty soon. Or let me let me see if I close. Let me see if I close completely. Let's get a quick, because I should have it come, uh, plugged in. 
Okay, so once you click here, it's going to appear right here if you already have it installed. Now you're going to open it up. And like you see here, there's going to be a little bar going up and down. Uh, that means uh, that this right here is cl very close to the device. And like you see there, as I move it around, this bar right here changes in size. Like you see there, it changes in size. So here on the Mac, you got unregistered key, right? You got allow gatekeeper to prevent sleep, lock computer automatically, unlock computer automatically. So all these, they have to be checked. Here you got the distance. This right here is the distance where this unlocks or locks. The closer you put it, the closer you get away, it will lock right away. So the farther you put it, if you put it right here, you gotta be really far from your computer for, for your computer to lock. So in this video, I'm just gonna put it right here as just I, as an example, most of the times I keep it right here so it, it doesn't uh, lock so fast. But I'm gonna keep it right here with the shoulder. Um, here it says test lock to unlock. It says with these current settings, your computer will, uh, will unlock. Um, on Windows, this is a little bit more different. It has another option that says tap to unlock. Tap to unlock would be like you tap this to the receiver and it will actually unlock your computer. On the Mac, like you see there, you don't have that option, which kind of sucks, but it doesn't have that option. But on Windows, you will have that option. Um, here you got send feedback, hey, save, quit gatekeeper. Let's go and save these settings that we already changed. And I can see here it says your computer will not lock while this window is open. So we have to close it. And of course, it's going to stay um, in the background working there. You see there's always, as long as it appears here, that means that the device is gonna be active. So now I'm gonna show you guys how it actually works. Okay, so this is how it would work, right? We're close to a computer, working on the computer. You have this near you, and of course it has to be plain sight to that right there. It has to be plain sight, because if you hide it, if you hide it, it's gonna lock the computer. Right now it's not locking, because it's not that far away from that. But as we walk away, let's go and see how it unlocks dun, 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 dun. just give it a few seconds uh right now i'm i still have the same setting okay there you go so right now it locked the computer let's go and put this to the side so we can go to the computer and see that it's actually locked and it says that message right there it says your screen has been locked by gatekeeper auto unlock with your keychain and hit return so like see that it doesn't work. Um, even if you if you take that out, if somebody takes that out, it won't actually unlock the computer as well. Um, here, what I notice on Mac is that if you go like this, you can actually see the desktop. Now that's kind of worrisome, especially if you have like sensitive information right there. But if somebody tries to work on the computer, they won't be able to work on the computer because it's it's locked. So that's one thing about the Mac that I don't really like it does. On Windows, I've heard that it works a lot better. It totally locks the screen. You can't open it at all. But like you see right there, you right now nobody can use it because it's, it's, uh, it's locked and it's gonna be very, very annoying for somebody to try to do something while you're away from your computer for a couple minutes. Now, if we get the device, let's go and get the device again. I left it back here. Now we got the device, we're gonna go ahead and walk to it. And it's gonna take a couple of seconds. So like you see there, I'll put it there and voila, that's how it works. I've heard that it works even better on Windows um, because of that feature and the other feature that you can actually change to unlock your computer when you tap on the receiver, it automatically unlocks. Instead of going by distance, it goes by tap. And that's a very cool feature that's missing here on the MacBook. And I can't actually show you guys because I don't have a computer or PC that has Bluetooth. Kind of sucks. So guys, and this is how it works on my MacBook computer. So if you're one of those that actually work with a lot of people or, for example, if you're like in a Starbucks or something like that and you just walk away from your computer, you might want to have a device like, like this that actually locks your computer um, once you walk away, you can control the distance from this to the device on, on the USB port. 
And I think this device is actually going to keep getting updated. So there's a couple prices like a show there is of like $50 on Amazon, $44 right now on the, on the website itself on sale for a limited time. And, um, the only negative thing I would have to say about this device is that if you have this device in your pocket and it's out of the visibility of that device right there on the USB port, it's going to lock your computer. Like see there, it's locking my computer. Um, and if you're working on a project, if you're working on a project, that's going to be really, really annoying. It's happened to me, especially when I'm editing video and I forget that this device is far away from my computer or it's in my pocket and it will just keep locking my computer. It becomes very annoying. This has to be an eyesight away from the from the locking device or from the USB dongle on your in your computer. So other than that, guys, I hope you guys like the video. I'm going to leave links in my descriptions for the website where you can actually download the files, uh, the link for the application for the phone and the Amazon link as well. So you could buy from there as well if you want. So thanks for watching the video. This was Gatekeeper for Windows PC and for MacBooks as well. Till next time, guys.